Today we will learn Mendelian monohybrid cross. This is Rahul's family. Rahul and Rahul's mother have brown eyes, while his father has blue eyes. Can you tell me why Rahul's eye color is not blue? We get the answer for this question with the help of Mendelian monohybrid cross. Let's understand it. Hybridization of two garden pea plants with a pair of contrasting characters is called monohybrid cross. The tallness and dwarfness are contrasting characters for height. Mendel hybridized a tall plant with a dwarf plant and produced the first filial generation, that is, F1 generation, from the seeds obtained. All the plants of this generation were tall. Then, he self-pollinated the F1 generation plants and grew the second generation, that is, F2 generation plants. All the plants in F1 generation were tall. But, in F2 generation, the ratio of tall plants to dwarf plant was 3 is to 1. No plant was of intermediate height, that is, height in between the two. This means that the information of tallness and dwarfness must have been transmitted without any change from parent generation to the F1 generation and from F1 generation to the F2 generation. After understanding this fact, Mendel proposed that a certain object gets inherited from the parent to the offspring during reproduction which develops specific characters in the offspring. Mendel called this object as factor. We call it a gene. Based on the above fact, we can say that gene is a unit of heredity. All F1 generation plants were tall, but the F2 generation had a mixture of tall and dwarf plants, meaning that F1 generation plants must have inherited both tallness and dwarfness traits from the parent generation. Therefore, there must be both the factors, that is, tallness and dwarfness, present in the F1 generation plant. However, only the trait of tallness gets expressed. With this understanding, Mendel proposed the law of dominance, according to which, in every individual, the characters are controlled by factors. Due to involvement of two parents in sexual reproduction, factors are found in pairs. There are different forms of a trait, so the factors of that trait also have different forms. These are called alleles. The allele is a pair of factors, may be similar or different. If in the pair of factors, the two alleles are different, then only one of the factor is allowed to get expressed. The factor that gets expressed is called the dominant factor or dominant gene, while the factor that remains idle is called the recessive trait or recessive gene. Thus, only one copy of the dominant factor ensures expression of the dominant character. Similarly, for the expression of the recessive trait, both factors in the pair of factors must be recessive. Similarly, both tall and dwarf plants appeared in the F2 generation. None of the plants were of medium height, that is, a mixture of long and dwarf traits did not appear. On the basis of this understanding, Mendel introduced the law of segregation, according to which alleles of a trait do not mix with each other, meaning that the alleles of a trait remain pure in the pair. During the formation of gametes, Alleles get separated, that is, each gamete get only one of the two alleles in pure form. In this way, the number of chromosomes in gametes is half 
that of the other cells. At fertilization, the alleles of the male gamete and the female gamete pair again and thus the number of chromosomes becomes normal. Inheritance can be understood through Punnett square. In this, we arrange the male and female gametes vertically and horizontally and find the possible combinations. We represent the dominant factor with uppercase letters and the recessive factor with lowercase letters. For example, tallness can be represented by uppercase T and dwarfness with a lowercase t. Since the parental generation plants are a pure lineage, we can express the factors of traits, that is, the pair of genes as TT or TT, like this. According to the law of segregation, the factors in the pairs get separated during gamete formation. If we cross the two gametes, we will get an unequal pair of factors in F1 generation. Therefore, the dominant trait T gets expressed. After self-pollinating the F1 generation plants, F2 generation plants will have various combinations like this. Since tallness is a dominant character, therefore these plants will grow tall. And in plants that have both recessive factors, they will be dwarf. Physically expressed traits of any organism such as tallness and dwarfness are called phenotypes and the ratio of these traits is called phenotypic ratio. Here, the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1. Similarly, the factors or genes that regulate the traits are called genotypes. If we talk about genotypic constitution of these plants, then we get their genotypic ratio like this. Now suppose if round trait which is expressed as R is dominant for the seeds and the wrinkle trait which is expressed as R is recessive, then what will be the result of breeding between the plant having RR genotype and a plant having RR genotype? Try this with the help of Punnett square. So today we have learned Mendelian monohybrid cross. cross. cross.